How about a robot that can be controlled by our voice? Sounds fun, right? And yeah, that's what today's session is all about. Welcome to the 8th episode of DIY Robotics under What's Your Hobby? For our voice control robot on wooden chassis, we'll be using the Bluetooth module and making the most out of the Bluetooth technology. We all must have used the Bluetooth technology many a times in our lives. So what actually is Bluetooth? Bluetooth is like a tunnel or a road that our digital files use to travel from one place to another. Example, from one mobile to the other. And do you know where the name came from? That will be interesting. The second king of Denmark, King Harald Bluetooth, was famous for uniting Scandinavia in the 10th century. This is how we got the name for Bluetooth, just as we intend to unite PC and cellular industries with a short range wireless link. Coming back to the topic, there are different ways through which digital data can flow. For example, it can flow through pen drives, the internet, Bluetooth and many more. Bluetooth is defined as being a short range radio technology or a wireless technology aimed at simplifying communication among internet devices and between devices and the internet. It also aims to simplify data synchronization between internet devices and other computers. This is a HC05 Bluetooth module which is a simple to use Bluetooth serial port protocol module intended for the configuration of transparent serial wireless connections. It communicates through serial communications making it easy to connect with the controller or the PC. We'll connect this module to our Arduino board and with the help of some coding we can make our Bluetooth car run. So let's check out the process. We will connect this module to our Arduino board and with the help of some coding and installing some applications on your mobile phone, we'll make our voice control robot. So let's dive into the procedure. We're downloading the file from the QR code, here it opens on the PC like this. Double click on it to open it in the Arduino application. So it has been opened. Now what you should do is you should fix the USB cable with the computer and the Arduino board. Here I made the fixing. Now here is the code in front of you. Let's see the coding. So as you can see Bluetooth 2 and 3. So 2 refers to TX or the transmission and 3 refers to the reception. So transmission and reception are the 2 and 3 pin holes of Arduino. And we have been doing this already that 10, 11, 12, 13 are dedicated for the motors. 10 and 11 for the left motors, 12 and 13 for the right motors and they will all be the output the motors will all be the output as we all know okay so there is the coding for the voice control robot to be connected to the as part the voice so first here comes that forward so when the forward word is sensed by the arduino the left and the right motors both will go in the forward direction and they are it will be high in the forward direction and low in the backward direction now once the read voice is back so the backward direction will be high and the forward direction will be low if it is turned right so the left wheel will be at high but and rest all will be at low so movement of the left wheel will turn the robot to the right direction and similarly the movement of the right wheel will turn the robot in the left direction 
and once it is sensing the word stop then all will go at low so the car will stop immediately so this car will keep on going in the particular direction until this stop command is given so this was all about the coding now let's upload this So the uploading is complete. Now let us see the application which we need to download in our mobile for this robot to run. Let us fix the sensors and make our voice control robot. So you can see here that this is the Bluetooth sensor which we are using. This Bluetooth sensor we used in Bluetooth control car as well. So I have already fixed the uh, jumper wires now we just have to make the connections but before that let me start with where we finished in the previous episode we need to connect the motor driver circuit to the arduino board now since we all know that the arduino board always get number to 10 from 10 to 13 like from 10 to 13 the commands are usually given so let me fix these accordingly and these the female ends here will go here in the motor driver circuit One tip for you all is that you are free to change these uh, pins anytime like change the slots where you are putting the pins what if you see that your motor is not starting or if one wheel is moving forward or one wheel is moving backward then you can manually change this by trial and error method once it gets corrected. So the motor driver circuit is connected to the Arduino. Now it's time for the Bluetooth module. So what you are doing for Bluetooth module, you see here TX and RX. So TX will go to 2 and RX will go to 3. TX goes to 2 and RX. So VCC or the 5 volt is the blue one whereas ground is the violet one. So let us give power to the Arduino board and see. So you see this Bluetooth module lights up. So our Bluetooth control robot or I'm sorry the voice control robot is ready now the first step is downloading the application from the Google Play Store so type Arduino Bluetooth control this app will appear we need to install this Once it gets installed, let's open this app. Okay, first of all, uh, another work which we have to do is we have to pair our Bluetooth module to our mobile phone. Okay, so here you see my Bluetooth is already paired up. So I am showing you all over again. I am unpairing this and searching for available devices and see seeing this name JDY31SPP 
clicking on this the pairing will start with the password 1234 so our bluetooth module is paired with the computer now let us go back to the application now we'll choose this jdy31 spp and once it gets connected the red light on the bluetooth module will get stabilized since we're using voice control robot uh, so we'll click on this voice control now we have to set the voice for this application to understand and send it to the arduino for this you need to go to the settings and then go to the vocal commands configuration here you need to enter your commands like as we have entered forward ok this data to the arduino board will also go as forward second is back just type the word don't use any space bars stop stop turn left turn left turn right right so the five commands are set the reason for setting these commands is that the, this application will recognize the voice of a certain word and send the word to be sent to the arduino board which will then recognize it with the coding and give direction to the motors now if i say here forward you will see that the forward word is being accepted the forward what is ac accepted now if it, it was connected to the bluetooth module and also the battery would have been connected to the motors the car would have run forward we will see this in action after setting up the bluetooth module stop forward stop forward. back right left right left forward So you saw how the car took our voice commands and made its movement? Wasn't it fascinating? You can also try making this at your home. All you need is to log in to the Sparklebox website and order their DIY Robotics Kit 1 and 2. Hurry up till stocks last. The link is given in the description box below. Like the video, subscribe to the What's Your Hobby channel and click the bell icon for the latest notifications and updates. In my next episode, I'll show you how to make an edge avoiding robot using ultrasound. Stay tuned to What's Your Hobby channel. Bye-bye.